Hi guys, all right, so just a quick video because I got an email a couple of days ago that TuroGo is launching a new version of itself where they are ditching the hardware installation. And I'm super excited about that because that was one reason why I was kind of always hesitant to doing that. Um, but second, also because I wasn't such a big fan of the experience, but this version is interesting because it seems like what they're doing is they are offering TuroGo to cars that already have an existing application that comes with the cars, such as Mercedes-Benz or BMW. Both of these brands have applications where you have the ability to lock and unlock cars and also track the vehicles as well through their own application. So um, it's, I think Turo was able to API get an API access into these apps. So that's how they're able to do it. But basically, um, they invited me into the pilot program. So I did go ahead and connect one of my cars because I want to see how it functions and kind of what the differences between the old TuroGo and the new one. And also what the differences between the existing apps that already come with these cars versus using Turo. As of right now, in terms of their price model, they're saying that it's most likely going to be on a per trip basis, but they don't know yet, or they're not saying yet exactly what that price is. The existing Turo go model is I believe $50 a month if I remember correctly and I think also a secondary difference is going to be with the existing Turo go they disable the key that is in the car the only function that key has is that it's able to um, turn on and off the ignition if you have one of those cars that requires a key in the ignition but aside from that you use your phone to lock and unlock the car whenever you need to get in and out of the car which in my experience I thought that was a huge hassle. So it seems like with the new TuroGo program, the only time the guest has to use the app to lock or unlock the car is when they first pick it up so that they can get access to the key and then when they return the car so that they can leave the key in the car and then go ahead and lock the car. Um, so interesting that they've taken this direction. I think it's way better than the old TuroGo, but let's see how it works. The pilot program is launching mid-December. I'm already registered for it, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on how that goes and if I think that the new version of Turo Go is better. Um, but yeah, I just finished up at my car wash. One thing I love about where my car wash is located is that it's right next to an enterprise location and it's so interesting because I come to the car wash so often, you actually get some really good intel just by looking at enterprises parking lot you can see how busy or slow they are um, so today it looks like their parking lot has been pretty pretty empty not super busy kind of just in the middle so kind of gives you an idea of where or how their business is doing as well um, but yeah it's pretty cool I'll show you my car wash is right there and enterprise is literally next door boo enterprise Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.